are you doing, man? <laughs> oh. <sighs> I'm practicing the backpack uh, pull up. Super important skill. So, uh, have you ever wondered what I have in my backpack with me? Like, okay, so this is uh, just the basic for indoor climbing. I have the three pair of uh, solutions, brand new in the box of course. Knee pad, always important for indoor climbing. Ice, of course, always ice. Uh, so, you know, just the basic uh, Gumar handles and some extra beaners. And uh, now also started with this. Yeah, and also, of course, the super glue. Uh, super important. Yeah, so this is uh, like a swing. And you use it to, to sit down like this. Uh, so you don't get uh, tied in the legs. Because if you sit in the harness for an hour or so, you're just gonna get totally numb uh, legs and it's not pleasant. So you use this to be able to hang a long time up on the wall. Yeah, super comfortable, right? Yeah, it's lovely. Okay, and then we're gonna need, we need to have this uh, beaner that's gonna be... And later you will actually uh, attach the Grigri to this one. So, uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, another way to use a uh, pull up bar. Yeah. Much more efficient way. Uh, okay, let's go bouldering then. Yeah, you're gonna leave me here now? Yeah. Bye bye. Uh, nice meeting you, man. But, uh, okay, uh, maybe I'll figure out something out and I come okay. back. Give up. me a call, I, I have my phone over there. Okay, I don't really have the time to bring you the phone right now, but you can just, just think about something yeah, funny for a while. Yeah, uh, uh, cheers man. Alright, hold me. Time for some bouldering. Uh, it seems almost like it's built for my, my hand size. I can really pinch hard on them. This one might be a bit too small, but still good, so, yeah. Okay, first try, today. I've done it before, so it's not like really a first try, but it's first try today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just felt weak. Fuck how weak I felt. It's all. Sometimes it's even worse to do boulders that you already done because yeah. if it feels hard, you know you just suck. But now we got the perfect song here that will make ah. it happen. But we also need to keep talking, otherwise YouTube okay, will. So I'm just gonna keep moving my <laughs> mouth. Okay. Let's keep talking so you can keep this epic soundtrack in the video in the background. Okay. I believe you, Thor. You just gotta try hard. Yeah. Come on, dude. Yes. Yeah. Come here, Yes. Okay. All right, dude. You got this. So this this means that uh, I, I should not fall now. Yeah, you should not fall now. Come on. Which I didn't do. Oh, you get the foot like that, okay. Grab the jug. Nice. Match. And then now I'm gonna actually jump down. Good. Oh, ah. Ah. <laughs> I think. I think we I did. I just want to speak, keep talking yeah. because the algorithm uh, want to yeah. fuck up the episode for us. Yeah, so. this is like YouTube thing. The yeah. algorithm takes yeah. four yeah. seconds to find a song in my video and then they're like, okay, just all your keep money. On rocking. Stay tuned, yeah. we're gonna find a new bowler. <laughs> the, 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 actually, the music is turned off. I don't know if you have a guardian angel or something, but... Yeah, no, there's actually no music, so maybe I should be... take the opportunity to be, to be quiet for a while now. But uh, 
yeah, whatever. We, we were actually figured out what boulder we're gonna do. We're gonna go up on the other side of the gym. Maybe watch the video with uh, Sofia and Kaisa. And uh, now we're gonna see what it looks like when a old broken man are doing the same boulder. See you up there. It's getting serious now. I'm gonna change shoes. Oh, the precision ones? Yeah, the freshly uh, new resold shoes. Uh, they is, they are so much stiffer than they uh, when they are like worn out and like almost like holes in them. They they are like flexible, and this one is still like super stiff. So uh, I think it will uh, work better. Are you feeling my disgusting toes? No. Nice. But now I don't do. <laughs> It's like the only part of my body that I'm ashamed of. <laughs> yeah, so the beta... The, the 7B. Yeah, I'll show the beta now. I'll cut that in when Sophia's doing it. Yeah. So she skips the entire left side of the boulder and just goes right out to the right side and just keeps on the right side. Really? She, she don't even use this one? Nope. Ah! She, I mean, that her beta is hard as hell. You have to be really strong, like have really strong fingers. I yeah. used to have to be really strong. I was surprised how hard it actually was. So. Yeah, but what's the reason why she? Because that. Is it too easy for her without the. No, I think the other bed is harder. I, no, I mean this one is a solid turn B because I think Kaisa can do the high heel. Yeah. And she's really flexible. You're really flexible too, so maybe. But yeah. it's hard. Like this board is hard. But actually, I have a comment about that. Like that's easy on in K2, and that's. It's, it's true and it's not true at the same time because if you have this much boulders, like hundreds of boulders, of course it's going to be one boulder that you find that's kind of soft and suits your style pretty well so it doesn't feel that it's holding the grade. But if you try to do all the boulders with that grade in the gym, I guarantee it's not going to be that easy anymore. So, I mean, one day you're just going to find a boulder that suits you perfectly if you have hundreds and hundreds to choose from so that's why it sometimes feels soft maybe yeah yeah that's my uh, my view on that thing <laughs> Bye, man. yeah Alright, see, it wasn't really Sophia's beta, but it was a good send. So, that's a pretty yeah. nice step. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my ass is hanging down pretty... I mean, it's probably actually a bit harder because you're taller as well, so... Yeah, way harder. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think it's doable, definitely doable, uh, but uh, to me it's way easier to just stay low and just because I actually have the reach to, yeah. to get it from the good foothold instead of just like being all cranked up like that. So I found a, a new knee bar boulder. Pretty side, so which means I have the opportunity to bring out knee pad. <laughs> uh, can you see the smile on my face yeah. when, I, when I have a reason to put on the knee pad? Uh, the reason why I use the knee pad for indoor bouldering is that it uh, makes people angry. And also, maybe I should try this brand new shoes now. Yeah. Ta -da. It's gonna be super painful to put them on, as usual, when the shoes are totally new. And that's, uh, I don't know why they 
bring this plastic with the, the shoes, but it's really helpful to, to use when you put, on, put them on for the first time because your foot, you put it on your foot and it slides, slides in more easily. What you do is this, you put the plastic around the heel part of your foot. Oh, they are so tight. I don't... Okay. Actually, I actually think I need to take a beaner and pull it, because otherwise I might get some pull injuries <laughs> if I just try to pull it with my toe. <laughs> And now I'm warmed up, so now it's not. I'm not really risking any finger injuries by putting on my shoes. But if you're not warmed up and you put the shoes on totally cold fingers, then it, you might even hurt your fingers when you like because it's like pulling on a mono before you warm up. It's not really a good thing. And uh, yeah, they just told me that Felix actually injured his finger by doing this. So it's it's no joke. It's, it's, uh, it's real. First try. I give myself about five percent to send first go. Oh. Uh, so wish me luck. Okay. I think that 5% was very accurate. Yeah, but I'm actually... I'm a bit surprised that I fell out. Because it felt like I, it, the, the knee was... Yeah, really goodly, good, goodly placed. <laughs> Same thing. The knee bar. How, imagine for a normal person that doesn't have the, I mean, the 510 knee bar. If you wouldn't, if you had like bare skin against the hole and fall off like that, I mean, it's just like blood everywhere. If you do the move, I'll, yeah. I'll buy you a chocolate bar. That's okay. Now I have to do it. And if you don't do it, you have to buy me a chocolate ball. Ah. I mean this try or like... Yeah, this try. Double okay. pressure. Yeah, deal, deal. Definitely. <laughs> Ooh, come on. Come on, dude. <laughs> okay. Uh, did a move though. Okay. Uh, I actually don't gonna do it from the start now. I'm gonna go up, grab the cream, and figure out the rest of the sequence because I don't want to fall off the fall out of the knee bar again. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be that's the hard part. Oh, the ending. 
yeah, psychologically challenging to <laughs> just slap for the sloper and just don't fall off. It might be the same goal, I hope so. I have the sequence, I think. So. Nice, dude. Nice. Actually, changed the sequence in the fly, but it worked. So I felt uh, less desperate, just keep twisting even more and reach the next hole from the knee bar. So what's that's that's the last bowler of today, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go buy some chocolate balls as well. Speaking about the diet, just, uh, yeah, chocolate balls. So Eric, what are you doing? Are you... Well, I lost the bet, so I'm buying chocolate balls. Can I have Jordnöts dröm instead? Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Maybe I need a spoon for this. <laughs> yeah. Would you mind giving me a spoon? Oh. Okay. Right. Oh shit. So now I'm gonna have the cake that I um, Eric bought me. Um, it feels like this episode was a bit more vloggy. I really had a good time filming with Eric and just hanging out and do like try to have fun. Um, hope you also enjoyed this format. Yeah, but it's gonna be maybe it's gonna be a different style in the next video. I don't know, but this was really fun to just hang out and do a, a bunch of bowling. So yeah, see you soon, guys. People keep asking about your diet. I mean, it's not. I mean, I'm, I guess I'm a bit blessed with. Uh, I, I don't put on that much fat, really. I think, but also I think that, that what people do wrong is they actually go on a super hard diet and try to lose weight and then it's, it's just too hard so they don't they can't keep up with it for a long time and I'm like I never do like dieting or anything I just try to eat healthy like kind of healthy constantly so I never go like bananas and eat like tons of candy or something so I think that's the the, the key it's super like, boring thing but it's just like don't do it, don't overdo it. You just have to do it for the rest of your life. That's the most important. If you feel you can do it like for, for years, then it's like a good diet, I think. Yeah.